Hey guys, so um, I was asked to put together this tutorial for you guys so you can learn how to do your um, your poop and your ponytail for competition. Um, let me just apologize because it's super late and I just got off work so I look nasty and I'm really tired. Um, but I will do my best. Um, so there are a few things that you need with you um, in order to start this. Um, if you have thin hair, you're going to do it a little bit differently um, and you're going to need a few different things than if you have thicker hair because it's totally different. Okay, so you need a hairbrush to start off with. Um, any hairbrush is fine. It really doesn't matter what hairbrush you have. You need a comb. Now, if you have thin hair, like I do, you're going to use, it's a fine-toothed comb. Um, so just try and get one that's the tooth the teeth of them are super close together um, if you have thick hair just a regular comb should be fine um, or you can use fine tooth comb however you want to do it um, and then try and get a comb that has this like pick on the end it just makes it easier to separate your hair so you know how to get the piece for your poof um, okay what else do you need um, this is optional as well if you have thick hair, you're probably going to want to use these. Um, just the They're just hair rubber bands. Um, try and get them. They make them in different colors. Try and get ones that match your hair color as much as possible because we don't, it, and definitely don't get purple, you know. Um, but try and get like the nude colors. Um, obviously, you're going to need a hair tie. Um, bobby pins. You're going to need bobby pins. You can get a pack of them anywhere really um, as well try and get them your hair color as well mine are brown um, just because I didn't buy blonde ones but um, just try and get them as close to your hair color uh, you're gonna need hairspray um, my girls with super fine hair like me the secret that I use is dry shampoo it helps with teasing um, with teasing your hair so you really um, but that's optional. You can do it if you want to. If not, that's fine. And then, last but not least, you need your gorgeous bow. All right. So let's get started. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fine tooth comb. You're gonna start where you want your part at. So you're gonna start from the outside in, and just kind of pull your hair back. You want an even line for your poof because no one wants a crooked poof. You know, those aren't pretty. So you want to just kind of separate your hair and almost do it all the way down. Um, because this is, she wants a, she wants a little poof, not a big poof. So you really don't need to take a lot of hair. Um, I try and take just where my hairline is, just like, I don't know. This is really where your bangs are. I know a lot of you have bangs, so just take where your bangs are. You know. So you're gonna pull that up to the front and go ahead and tie everything else back. And it can be in a sloppy bun, it doesn't matter. Because you don't need to worry about it. Okay. So now this looks really weird. Okay, so I got this is what I'm gonna poof. So you're gonna take your back layer first. You're gonna almost, yeah, you're gonna break them up into like little layers, your poof. Um, and you're gonna do it called teasing your hair. So you're basically, normally you comb your hair this way, you're gonna comb backwards. Um, now it's actually really easy to do to tease it. Um, but a word of advice, the slower you go, the nicer it will be. When you do it really fast, it just gets a tangled mess and just looks really bad. So you're going to want to take it and just brush backwards. I know this looks really weird and really bad right now, but that's what you got to do. Now, if you have thinner hair, you should take more for your poof than if you have thick hair. If you have thick hair, you really don't need to take a whole lot.
And you're going to want to do it to all but the top layer of your poof. So the very front layer, you're going to want to kind of leave alone, if that makes sense. Because it's almost like you want to hide the mess that's inside of a poof. You know, so you're just going to tease, tease, tease. Okay, this is when I actually take my dry shampoo and I spray it on the parts that I have teased. I let it dry and then I tease again because I want a lot of volume. Okay, now if you kind of see from the side, it's got volume. You know, so now you're going to take it. If you want to use a rubber band, I don't use rubber bands because it actually rips my hair out. Um, but what you would do is you would take your hair, you can see because my rubber band, it's kind of hard to see. Um, you just take your hair and you group it, just grab it and pull it straight back so it's almost, it doesn't even look poofed. But you want to grab it and you're just going to tie it into a regular ponytail. Um, I don't like doing that. It just never works out for my hair. <laughs> but you guys are more than welcome to try it. If it doesn't work just doing the bobby pins, definitely try it. So you're then going to take your poof and just grab like if you were going to put that rubber band in. Just almost like pinch it together and just push forward. I probably should have taken more from the sides. going to want to push forward. It's really hard to see in my front camera here. Hmm. Okay. And then you're just going to bobby pin it in place. Okay. Do not and I repeat, do not hairspray. Do not hairspray until your hair is up in a complete ponytail and you are completely done. Because I promise you, especially if you use the stuff we recommend for competition, once you hairspray your hair, that's it. You're done, there's no brushing, there's no let me fix this one piece, there's nothing. Once, you're, once you hairspray, it's done. So just like when you curl your hair, you shouldn't hairspray in between. Um, you also don't want to do that. You want to wait, like with your poof, you want to wait until you're completely done. Now my poof, it's kind of hard to see, but it's up. It's definitely up. It's there. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see from this angle. But yeah. Then you're going to take your comb. And you're just very lightly. Don't pull. Don't pull out. But you just want to brush over it and make sure you can't see any of that tangled mess inside. I'm going to try and get a little bit closer there. But you don't want to see any of the teasing that went on inside of this, okay? And you're going to take your hair very carefully out of this bun, okay? And we want a super, super high ponytail, ladies. Super, like, needs to come out the top of your head. So, um, when we did All Star, what we always told the girls was it needs to be, if you put your hand at the front of your hairline, I can't do it because I have a poof, but at the front of your hairline, your ponytail needs to be where your hand ends. So your ponytail needs to be right behind your poof. So what I do is I take my comb and I brush back and I just kind of get like a loose top half for right now. And I go ahead and I just keep slowly raising it up, slowly raising it, slowly raising it. 
and I go ahead and grab all the rest of my hair. Now you'll notice my hair won't stay in a pony because it's too short without a ton of hairspray and I really don't want to hairspray it right now. But you're just going to keep pulling and pulling up until it's all the way in the top. You're then going to take your ponytail and tie it. Okay. You're going to push your poof forward a little bit, tie your hair, tighten it. Now this is my favorite thing to do with a ponytail, all right? my secret. So I then go ahead and take my ponytail and section the top half just like I did with my poof. And I'm going to go ahead and tease my ponytail because I have super thin hair and I want it to look thick and I want it to look full and have tons of volume because I'm a cheerleader and volume is what we like. Okay, so I'm just going to tease Tease away. Better. Now I'm going to bring teasing combs with me to competition, so if you don't feel comfortable, I mean you obviously have to tease the poof, um, especially if you have thin hair, um, but if you don't feel comfortable teasing their ponytails, that's totally fine, don't even worry about it, um, and I'll do it at competition. Um, I just don't have time to do all of their poofs at this first one. Okay, so it's a little more... A little more volume now and then once again just like I did with my poof I'm gonna want to lightly comb over it definitely don't brush you know just a light comb um, right and you want to make sure your ponytail is nice and tight and you're gonna go ahead and take your bow your bow sits on top of your head like so just going to wrap it in your ponytail. And I'm just going to tease my ponytail a little bit more. Because I like thick hair. probably should have been born in like the 70s or 80s because I really enjoy thick hair and the teasing is my favorite thing in the whole wide world. It's just a lot of fun and I just like the way it makes your hair look. Okay. And you just want to make sure your bow's on top. Now everything's in set. I'm done. I like the way it looks, kind of, I mean, I could have done better on the poof, but, you know, it is what it is, but, okay, I like the way it looks, I'm done for tonight, so what I'm going to do is, um, I'm using dry shampoo just because, um, it actually works better in my hair for me than, uh, hairspray does, hairspray really just doesn't hold anything in my hair at all, um, and I'm going to go ahead and hairspray it. sides don't feel like you can't comb back into that ponytail after you hairspray as well that's totally fine and it's also okay to slightly comb over your poof you just don't want to get too you just don't want to brush your poof out you know um now if you have short hair you're gonna have these little hang things just bobby pin them, ladies. Okay, the worst thing to see is the hair still down. You want to hide it by your ponytail. 
teeth should be hidden in your ponytail. Okay? And that is how you do it. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, uh, make sure you start with straight hair. Um, my hair is naturally straight, so I didn't have to worry about straightening it when I started. Um, but yeah, you want stick straight hair. Um, it's best to do it with semi-dirty hair. So I washed my hair this morning and I waited to do this until the end of the day. Um, well, I didn't really wait, but I was informed at the end of the day that I needed to do this. Um, so that was fine. It, this will hold for me. Um, but yeah, especially if you have thin hair. If you have thick hair, you usually don't have a problem with it. But if you have thin hair um, and your hair has a hard time holding, um, let's see, you guys have Halloween that night. So I would wash my hair maybe before you go trick-or-treating um, or, you know, when you go home. I, don't, I can't remember what day that is, if it's a Saturday. But, you know, just sometime in the afternoon I would wash my hair. Um, and I would just wait. I would not wash my hair that night. I would not wash it that morning. You can take a shower. Just don't wash your hair. You can get it wet and everything. Just don't shampoo it. Um, and definitely don't condition at all. At all, at all, at all. Makes your hair too soft. Um, but yeah, I think that's it, ladies. All right. Thank you.